What do you call an obnoxious reindeer? Rude off. <laughs> I just wanted to wait reason to say rude because that's so much fun. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. You know, it's just a week till Christmas, so there's no reason to be naughty yet. Give it a couple more days. Wait until Santa's got his list finalized. <laughs> uh, for my Vlogmas, I am opening up Cotton Cuts Roses Holiday Your Way Advent Box. I have day number 18 here, so let's see what's going on. 18 is like the number of holes in a golf course, so maybe this will be kind of fun. There's your sneak peek. The card inside says, the canvas is never blank. It is full of opportunities. Yes, it's basically make everything what you want. You have a blank canvas, which is never blank. You have, you can make anything with it. So I do like that. For the fabric, ooh. We have a dotty dot dot. Now, looking at this, and you're going to see why when I say it, some of you are already thinking it. It reminds me of Fred Flintstone's outfit. <laughs> I really love it. It's really awesome. So if we pair that with the pile of fabrics that we already have. So we have day one. For a reminder, day two, day three with the fun dots, day four with the fun flowers, day five with the retro look, day six with the fun flowers, this was seven, the Monet, eight, the vines, Mario vines, nine, the little forest scene, ten, the flutterbys. 11 was exclamation points, 12 was flowers, 13 was fun flowers, 14 was whatever this is, 15 was autumn themed, 16 was um, a fruit cocktail, 17 was this fun little like salmonish print, and then 18 is Fred Flintstone. So these are going to be a lot of fun. I'm just I'm getting more and more ideas on what I think I'm going to do. For today's favorite thing, uh, the question today is, what is my favorite Christmas cookie? Now, I'm both particular and not particular about my cookies. I'm going to say... My sister makes the best peanut butter cookies. They are like the simplest cookies ever, but something about them, they're the best. Uh, I love them. She didn't make me any last time I was up in Massachusetts. I should complain. If you're listening to this, Fran, I, I, I'm upset that last time I was up there, I didn't get cookies. So you better make me a double batch next time. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the, if I'm looking for cookies, it all depends on where we are. Um, the, the, the Subway, it's their raspberry, um, I think it's like a raspberry macadamia or something, raspberry white chocolate, raspberry something. Uh, and I usually get that when we do the free cookie survey thing. I won't go out and actually buy cookies, but I'll get them for free. Chick-fil-A has a really awesome chocolate chunk cookie I love to pieces. But this whole cookie question is kind of well-timed because Saturday night I had a random FedEx delivery that I wasn't expecting. And when it got delivered, I saw the text message and saw that it was from Cheryl's. And I was like, oh, I got cookies again this year for my boss. And then a couple hours later, I got a text from a friend of mine asking if I was going to be home on Sunday. And I was like, yeah, most of the time. Um, I mean, I got a couple plans, but 
depending on when it is, uh, I can probably be home. And if not, you can leave it on the front porch because he was offering to give me his annual cookie stuff because he makes some awesome cookies this year. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the cookies. So from Cheryl's, from my boss, if I can get the box open. Uh, the first box contains butter shortbread cookies. Uh, shortbread is not my favorite, so these will probably be the first ones eaten because I go from least favorite to most favorite. The second box contains uh, it's like a couple of whatever these are. Um, Buttercream frosted cutout cookie. And then a couple buttercream frosted gingerbread cookies. Oh, I got more of the um more of the cutout cookies than I got of the gingerbread. And I like gingerbread a little bit better. And then there's a third box in it because for some reason uh, they can't put them all in one bigger box. Who knows why? Uh, it contains a whole bunch of minis. So it has more um, buttercream frosted. Uh, this is a standard sugar cookie, which is a fun. Uh, Christmas style. Ooh, it's got some milk chocolate pretzel clusters. And then this is a buttercream frosted chocolate chip mini. And of course, we have to have the healthy one, oatmeal raisin. It's healthy because it's got oatmeal in it. Uh, oh, and there's is a chocolate obsession, which I got to be very careful when I eat because uh, there's something in some chocolates that just doesn't agree with me. I'll still eat it. It doesn't kill me. But if I'm planning on certain things, then I'm like, I probably should not eat that. Um, and then this is the pile that... My uh, friend called and gave me. Uh, I don't know what's in here. It's an assortment. I see gingerbread. I see sugar cookies. I see jelly filled. They're always a whole bunch of fun. Um, one year he made a salted caramel cookie, I believe it was. Uh, one year there was a bacon cookie, which was so good. The, the problem is I get an assortment and it's like one of each. And I'm like, I want more of this one, and I can't because he's already given them all away. <laughs> so, yeah, when it comes to, like, my favorite cookies, it's basically the free ones because free that free is my favorite flavor. I am really enjoying these uh, favorite things questions. So if you have a favorite things question you would like to ask me, please do. If it's already answered in a previous video, I am putting you a... I'm pointing you to which video it is answered in because that's so much easier than me just typing out everything else in there, especially when I'm on my phone. Uh, if the question doesn't have something exciting as an answer, I'm just answering other comments. I'm reading everything, so um, I'm basically saving all of the comments that I haven't answered yet for later. And... Uh, if I haven't interacted with your comment, then it's probably coming soon. Um, I'm, like I said, we're a week away from Christmas, so hopefully uh, I will get through everybody. If not, I'm going to do a speed round on uh, Christmas Eve just so that I can make sure I get through everybody's questions because these are so much fun. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me this morning. Uh, it's hard to believe that we are really running out of days till Christmas. Uh, I I think I have everything out. Um, my sister got her box on Saturday, so that was exciting. It wasn't supposed to be there until tomorrow. So, 
yeah, <laughs> go FedEx. Um, make sure you catch all the people doing Vlogmas, especially my friends. Uh, my friend Stephanie of Quilting with Stephanie Stitches is putting her videos out for Vlogmas at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, my friend Shannon of Slay Arts is putting her videos out at 9 in the morning. And I am putting my videos out at 9.30 in the morning. So please check us all out. Um, if you haven't seen theirs today, go back, rewind, check them out. And if not, you have seen them, thanks for watching them. And uh, make sure you catch tomorrow's videos because they're going to be a lot more fun than today's videos were. Because it's always getting better, better, better. Until next time, Harry Vlogmas.